supply and demand continue to drive this hot seller's market. This week on Market Watch. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Market Watch for the week of February 19th through the 25th. I'm Jason Zwalik of the Zwala Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. I hope you're having a great weekend. For those of you tuning in for the first time, each week I take a look at the Orange County and Irvine housing market as a whole, and then I break the Irvine market up into three separate categories. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post, I post new videos every week about what it's like to live in Orange County and about the housing market. As we've seen for the better part of the last six months to a year, supply and demand are driving the current housing market. Now that we're in 2021, we we're hoping to see a little reprieve when it comes to more homes coming on the market and maybe demand dropping a bit, and it's been the exact opposite. Our supply is dwindling. We've seen it drop steadily from the beginning of the year until now. At the same time, interest rates remain incredibly low, so our demand is spiking. We did hear that interest rates may start to go up. If that's the case, it is good news because that will help create a healthy market. As we start every week, we're gonna take a look at Orange County first, so let's check out the numbers. In Orange County this week, we had 412 homes come onto the market, bringing our total to 2,351 homes. So even though we saw an increase in the number of homes coming on the market this week compared to last, the total number of homes on the market actually dropped by almost 100 homes. We had 613 homes go into escrow during the past week, bringing our total to 3,782 homes. We had 584 homes closed last week with an average days on market of 29 days. The list of sold average was 99.8% and the average price per square foot was $519. Our supply dropped again this week, further frustrating our buyers. For the sellers that are out there, they're getting top dollar. As you can see, our list of sold average was 99.8%. So pretty much they're getting their asking price. If they're aligned properly, they're getting top dollar and they're selling fast. So make sure you're priced right, you're marketed right, and you're in great condition and your home's gonna fly off the market. And we're even seeing some homes that need some deferred maintenance that are selling as well. All in all, the Orange County market is still red hot. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Irvine to see if there's any differences or similarities to Orange County. Let's check it out. In Irvine this week, we had 51 homes come on the market, bringing our total to 325 homes. That's down four homes from last week. We had 89 homes go into escrow, bringing our total homes in escrow to 409 homes. We had 58 homes close last week with an average days on market of 34 days. The list of sold average was 100% and our average price per square foot was $528. In Irvine, we didn't see as drastic of a drop in inventory, but we did shed four homes from last week. The average days on market for the homes that closed last week was just over 34 days, so homes are moving really quickly, and our list of sold average was 100%. So again, sellers are getting their asking price or over their asking price. Now that we've looked at Orange County and Irvine as a whole, I like to break Irvine up into three separate categories. The first category is our first time home buyer category. This is anything listed under $750,000. Let's check it out. In this category, we had 16 homes come on the market, bringing our total number of homes to 65. We had 28 homes go into escrow last week. We had 22 homes sell with an average days on market of 28 days. The average price per square foot was $517. A lot of the same here in the first time home buyer category. Our number of homes that are on the market, again, dropped this week. And that is indicative not only of this market, but just where Irvine prices are going as a whole. In Irvine, we're seeing the number of homes that fall into the first time home buyer category. So anything under $750,000 gets smaller and smaller. As these prices go up, there's just not as many homes that fall into this category. And when these homes do come on the market, they move really quickly. The buyer pool is so large because everyone that is looking can afford these homes, so you see them move quite quickly. 
The next category is our step up category. This is anything listed between 750,000 and 1.5 million. Let's check it out. In this category, we had 23 homes come on the market last week, bringing our total active inventory to 160 homes. We had 43 homes go into escrow last week. We had 29 homes sell with an average days on market of 30 days. And the average price per square foot was $501. This is the bread and butter of Irvine. A lot of homes fall into this category between the 750 to 1.5 million. I call it the step up because we do see a lot of people moving up into this category. Although there are a lot of first time home buyers that are falling into this category as well because they're being stretched just because prices are going up so quickly. As you can see, the days on market for the homes that sold in the step up category was 29 days extremely fast and again these sellers are getting top dollar and they're moving really quickly so if you are thinking of selling don't wait the final categories are luxury category this is anything listed over 1.5 million let's check it out in this category we had 12 homes come on the market bringing our total active inventory to 100 homes which is the same as last week we had 18 homes go into escrow we had seven homes close with an average days on market of 63 days and the average price per square foot was $674. This category is an anomaly when you compare it to the other two categories, simply because as the prices get higher, the buyer pool gets smaller. There's just not as many people that can afford these homes, especially as we get into the four, five, six million plus range. So we tend to see the days on market increase like we did this week. The average days on market for the homes that closed in our luxury category was 63 days, which is double the step up and the first time home buyer market. All in all, more of the same. The market is red hot right now. The active inventory, when we compare it to years past, is extremely low. Check out this graph looking at active inventory over the last four years. If you look at the red line, that is where we are. We're sitting at just over 2,300 homes on the market. The green line, was 2020, which was just over 4,000 homes on the market. Almost double the number of properties were on the market last year at this time compared to this year. And when we look at 2019, we were over 6,000. 2018, we were hovering around that 4,500 mark. So when we looked at 2018 and 2020, those were strong springs. We were saying then that inventory is so low right now and right now we are at half of what we were in 2020 and 2018 that really shows how strong this market it is and how it's being driven by our supply now looking at supply we look at our demand which is also a cofactor in why our market is so hot right now check this out our demand right now is skyrocketing especially when you compare it to last year again the green 2019 which is the purple and 2018 which is the orange line we are heading towards our 2020 numbers which during the summer were incredibly strong so when we look at our supply being so low and our demand being so high it's just driving this crazy seller's market that we're in right now if you are thinking of selling now's the time get your home priced right and marketed right and you will get top dollar and you will sell quickly for the buyers out there you need to sharpen your pencil you need to be prepared to go in and offer maybe over ask if the home's the perfect home for you you may want to talk to your agent about an escalation clause you really need to be prepared be aggressive and have a plan if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post. Again, I post new videos every single week. If you are thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate and you have any questions, you can write them down in the comments below or give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, just get in touch with me. I'm here to help in any way that I can and to help make the process of buying and selling as simple and stress-free as possible for you. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and until next week, take care everybody. Oh, 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 oh,